Okay, so I wanted to show a tutorial on how to make uh, striped patterns for book folding in Microsoft Word. Um, a friend of mine showed me how to do this and I've been playing around with it for a little bit and found that it does have limitations. It's not as uh, nice as making your pattern in Photoshop, but this gives you an option if you don't have Photoshop. So, here I am in Microsoft Word. I've got a new uh, file and I'm going to make sure that the page is in landscape orientation and that my margins bottom and right are fairly small so putting them at point three and good to go okay now I'm going to insert picture word art pick the first one here and just type in your word literal or not you can s start with any size I'm going to enlarge it take this uh, just pull it down or pull it over as far as you can to the right side of the page Okay, so I've now I'm selecting the word, the word word, and I'm going to right click, format word art, go to fill, which is in the very first tab of colors and lines, select fill effects. You could use a pattern, they have a striped pattern already, and see what that is going to look like. Now, those stripes are way, 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 way too close together. So, nix that, undo, and we will choose another way to fill that, format word art, fill, fill effects, picture. And I've I've tried uh, different ways of doing this and I'm simply going to choose one of my pre-made uh, striped patterns. I have here one for 352 pages, 360, 462, 550, let's choose the one with 550 pages. Insert, OK, OK, and now here is where you're going to have problems using Word. I used a pattern that would use uh, 550 pages, but in Photoshop, I'm going to take the O and put it right next to the W. I'm going to take the R and move it over right next to the O because in book folding, you don't have any gaps. And in Word, even this word art, you're going to have gaps between the letters. So all you have to do if you are, are using Word is once you, you've filled your pattern with stripes, then go and count all of the stripes. That's the only way you're going to know exactly how many pages you're going to need. Remember, each stripe equals two numbered pages in a book. So if this has 200 stripes, you need a book with 400 pages. Uh, go ahead, make sure this pattern is stretched all the way to the right of that page. I'm not going to do it here because uh, it tends to go do weird things like this here. Uh, but you can do it and put it at the bottom of the page. Okay? Fill your page with that and then print it out and use that. Now, we're going to also experiment using a clip art. So delete that, insert picture from file because I went to the Microsoft site and found free clip art and I downloaded that to my downloads and it was a dog. So importing this dog. Again you're going to want to 
um, move that dog down to the bottom right corner of the page. And I'll just give you the, the idea behind it and then you can do your resizing. Same, follow the same um, uh, steps as before. Format picture, colors and lines, go to fill, fill effects, picture, select picture, and choose a striped background. It's not in here, it is in here. And I will put a link where you can find my free striped backgrounds. I'm using 616 pages. Insert. OK. OK. Now the stripes are on the background of this picture, but if, uh, if you look at my instructions for book folding, you can do, you can uh, use this pattern the exactly same way. You just, you know, use the black mark as your guide here. Um, this tutorial right here is not explaining how to fold, it is just telling you how to make the pattern in Word. Okay, you can stretch it out so you can see the stripes better, but it's not going to alter this pattern right here is going to give you the exact same effect result as this pattern right here but right here you can actually see the stripes better okay uh, print that out and um, remember you have to not count these stripes at the end here because the dog pattern doesn't go to the end and don't count these stripes at the beginning because the pattern doesn't go to the beginning and that's uh, where uh, using Microsoft Word is going to be uh, a less of an advantage than using Photoshop. But it does give you an option. Okay, thank you.